Hi, hello, namaste. My name is Abhishek Patel. This is MVC part 9. In this part, I'll cover three important topics. First one is what is entity framework and its version. A step by step process to set up entity framework database first approach with MVC. And at the last, we'll see important MVC interview question based on this MVC part. So this is continuation of MVC part 8. If you have not watched MVC part 8, so I strongly recommend you to watch that video part as well. So in MVC 8, I'll, I covered few important topics, understanding link queue, understanding entity framework and its approach, use of database first and interview question. So you can watch MVC part 8. So let's move to first one. What is entity framework and its version? So at Entity framework is this is ADA.NET. So ADA.NET entity framework is an object relational mapping framework that enables developers to work with various relational databases like SQL Server, Oracle, DB2, MySQL, etc. In short, uh, EF is used to write the uh, different linky queries by which we can fetch the database, we can perform the CRUD operation. CRUD is create, read, update, delete. So let's move to another slide. So there are different entity framework versions are available. So this is the latest version uh, 6.0 that was launched with .NET framework 4.5.1 with Visual Studio 2013. So this is very important to know because if you are using it, uh, any lower version like Visual Studio 2012 or 13 or 12 or 10, so you will not be able to use this Entity Framework 6.0 and it has a few important uh, features. So I will cover few important uh, this feature when we will implement the Entity Framework. Then 5.0, it was launched with .NET Framework. 4.5 with Visual Studio 2012. So it has also few important features which were introduced with Entity Framework 5.0. Then we have 4.3, 4.2, 4.1, 4.0, and at the last. So these much uh, we have also 3.5 also. So these are the Entity Framework version. So if you guys want me to share this PPT, so please subscribe and give me your email ID so, so that I can share this PPT with you guys. So this is the first one, what is Entity Framework and its version. Now let's move to a second topic that is step by step the process to set up Entity Framework with database first approach. So in, what is database first approach? Uh, in this first we have to uh, set up the database, we have to uh, write the tables, then we can use the database first approach. So let's uh, uh, go to uh, SQL Server, let's create a new database. Okay, how we can create, either we can use this new database or if you want to use the uh, query, then uh, we can write the query as well. So we will create one a new database for uh, our project. So it's taking a little bit time to expand it. Okay, yeah. So now right click uh, and say suppose new query. Okay, so how you can create the new database? Let's enlarge it. Create database. Let's give the and we see let's execute it and this is the query to create the database now let's refresh it this database anika tech underscore mvc should be present yeah so here is the table here is the database now first of all we will create our table let's write in query so create table so we will uh, create one table and uh, i will be using these columns to explain the entity framework database first model database first approach so employee id 
so let's give the table name tbs employee so emp id emp id let's give the name identity data type the last name then then gender let's take care um, i hope you guys are aware the about the difference between care and wear care if you're not maybe in, in the future videos i'll explain the difference between care and wear care then mobile number Never take it integer because integer uh, has some uh, limit. And uh, when we store the mobile number, maybe in India we store from seven, eight, or something. So that number will not be stored in integer. So don't take uh, mobile number as uh, uh, integer. Then the country, state, and address. Country. Okay, so this is the table uh, which we have created for uh, and our project entity framework database first model. So let's execute it. Execute it. Let's go to table. And yeah, here we go. So we have got one table. Now this table is ready. Now uh, we have to use this table in uh, our project and uh, this table will, will be used with entity framework so this is the same project which i used earlier so if you are not aware about this project then i strongly recommend you to watch previous videos so uh, let's add one folder add folder yes now uh, we will be uh, using the entity framework and if you wonder which entity framework we are using so by default when we create the mvc4 uh, it adds uh, reference of that entity framework and if you expand uh, references so here we can see entity framework and if you're not aware what is the entity framework version then right click and check the property so what is the version for 5.0 so uh, which entity framework version we are using entity framework 5 Okay. now let's add so uh, this is visual studio 2013 and uh, uh, in this when we right click and say add so either we can add the entity uh, framework from this option or if you are not if uh, you are not finding this option so go to new item and uh, here you can search entity okay and first option okay area.net entity data model don't choose these two so here let's give the db context name add it so once you add this uh, once you give the name you'll see this option in a different Visual Studio, you may see different uh, options here. I'm using Visual Studio 2013 Ultimate. So uh, I have these, uh, these much of options. So always choose first one, EF Entity Framework Designer from Database. Click Next. This is very important uh, uh, screen where you have to select the new connection. 
so uh, my database name is admin pc and i will use uh, sql authentication and it's up to you uh, if you have windows authentication so choose this one or if you have uh, sql server authentication so you can use this one also so let's put the credential and from here you have to select the database okay and uh, uh, one thing also mentioned uh, if you have you are using first time this uh, screen so you may see this screen also so you have to choose microsoft sql uh, server okay so we created the database let's check the database here so all the uh, database which are available in this server will be shown here and our database is this one let's check the connection yeah that's it so click ok okay so uh, now yeah so admin pc anika tech underscore mvc here you are seeing two options first one is no include exclude sensitive data from the connection stream i'll set it in my application code and second one is yes include the sensitive data in the connection stream so what does it mean notice here so if i say no okay by default so credential is not visible here if i say yes then this password will be visible here so we will use this yes include the sensitive data in the connection string and what will be the connection string in web.config so if you want uh, this connection string to be added in web.config so say this one or otherwise uh, don't do you can uh, set it from yourself so let it be like that click next here we are using entity framework 5.0 so earlier i shown uh, if you're not aware which entity framework version you are using then you can go to references now we are using entity framework 5.0 if you want you can also use the entity framework 6.0 click next this is another very important screen where you have to select the database the database objects so it is retrieving all the tables, all the views and stored procedures uh, from your database. So as uh, I created only one table, so if I expand it, only one table will be visible here. Here you can uh, see two options to checkbox. The first one is plurize or singularize generated object name. So like this is a table employees. If we say plurize or singularize, it is going to create the name with table employees. And if we have any foreign key, then that foreign key column will be included in the model. So let's finish this. Now what will happen? Uh, this table will be uh, will be fast, and this is going to show using entity framework. So let's wait. It takes a little bit time to generate the entity framework. So it's generating the file. opening the file okay so this table uh, this table table will be available in our project okay i think it has created so generally when you um, create the entity framework it takes little bit time yeah there we go so uh, this is the table same table which we created in our database if you see the screen emp id this is our primary key okay so this is a primary key and then all the rest of columns are there uh, and uh, if we expand it where we created under this folder okay em so uh, in earlier video i explain when we create the entity framework the extension of a file is dot edmx entity data model xml if we expand it uh, we can see uh, several files are there we have to concentrate on this particular file this context.cs okay so if i ex uh, click on this context.cs here you can see 
the class name is anika tag underscore mvc uh, entities and it is annotated by this db context so db context is a base class this is very important uh, class where this class is re responsible for connection management in entity framework and if you see here we have one constructor and in this constructor one uh, this parameter is being passed if you remember i added one connection string in web.config so while we were creating the entity framework it is uh, it was showing us that uh, this name will be added in a connection string so let's go to web.config okay yeah here so anika tag and this is the connection string you will see this is a little bit different uh, from uh, the connection string generally which we had because this is entity framework so it has uh, some different uh, uh, namespace or different uh, information are available here okay but uh, main thing is data sources admin pc uh, initial catalog is this this is id and password is given okay so anyway and also we added one table so table employees so uh, in database first what happens when we uh, generate the model in database first we have to create the tables and same table will be used as a model so this table okay this table will be uh, treated or will be considered as a model for our code okay so this is like that and this is under this context or tt and if you see since we have uh, opted that uh, in uh, option include uh, sorry um, that option was pluralize and singularize the table name so our table name is table employees and uh, if i right click and say go to definition or shortcut is f12 so same table is shown shown here okay i'll just give you a little brief when we uh, create the object and we uh, want to fetch the information from this table then we have to create the object of this so by default when we create the object default constructor will be called it is going to pass this connection string to this base class and if we navigate to this it has this connection string and it is going to take that connection string and manage the connection string so in this video uh, i have uh, i have explained uh, three important topic first one was uh, what is entity framework and its version step step by step process to set up entity framework database first approach with mvc okay and uh, these are the slides which i used okay and last topic is uh, to discuss about this mvc interview question so let's uh, see what question can be asked so what is entity framework different entity framework versions and which entity framework version you are using in your project if you are not sure uh, how to check or what is your entity framework version so navigate to this references expand it right click on entity framework here you can see the version okay so this is very important to know because maybe many people work in a project but they are not aware the uh, entity framework version and if you are not sure how you can determine so how to determine the uh, version in mvc even uh, one more question we can include here what is db context file okay or class so just now i explained what is this class db dot db context okay so i hope you have liked my video please subscribe share and if you want this ppt and that project also then let me know i'll share the ppt and project with you next in next video i will cover uh, crude operation how we can perform the crude operation with uh, entity framework thank you bye